The Russian cruiser Moskva, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, has been sunk. What a blow to Russia's pride. Russia claims the ship was sunk on its own due to an internal explosion, but the Ukrainians claim to have hit it with a 100% indigenous anti-ship missile called Neptune. With a crew of 510, Moscow was the most powerful surface vessel in the Black Sea region. She sank on 14 April 2022 in the Black Sea, 100 kilometers from the coast of Odessa. How is it first possible for the Ukrainians to have brought down this iconic ship, which has three layers of defense against any air attack? Having said that, this is not the first time the ship was attacked. It has a long history. Moskva is a Soviet-era Slava-class cruiser commissioned way back in 1983 but was decommissioned in 1990, only to be reinstated in 2000 as Moskva. In August 2008, in support of the Russian invasion of Georgia, Moskva was deployed to secure the Black Sea. During a brief service engagement, the Georgian Navy scored one missile hit on Moskva, but only minor damages were reported. On 25th November 2015, after a Russian Sukhoi-24 shootdown incident, the cruiser was deployed in Syria. In February 2022, the cruiser left Sevastopol to participate in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. It first attacked and captured 13 Ukrainian soldiers in Snake Island. She was the most powerful surface vessel in the Black Sea region at that time. The armament of Moscow is quite extensive and it's hard to think how the Ukrainians managed to sink it. The Moskova is 186 meters long. It has a displacement of 12,490 tons. It's powered by four gas turbines, generating over 121,000 horsepower. Moskova cruiser is basically a sea hunter with offensive weapons like 16 P-1000 Vulcan anti-ship missiles and 10 533mm torpedo tubes. Moscow has three layers of defense against any airborne anti-ship missile. Its first line of defense are the 64 Grumble long-range SAMs, which can intercept any missile 250 km from the ship. Its second line of defense are 40 Gecko short-range SAMs. It can intercept any incoming missile 30 km from the ship. Its last line of defense is the all-powerful AK-630 closing weapon system, which has a firing range of 5 km. The CAWS is a gas-operated 30mm cannon and can fire 4,000 to 5,000 rounds a minute. At the core of all its self-defense operation is its radar. The Moscow has two radars, one for deduction and the other for tracking and guiding missiles. Moscow's search and deduction radar is called MR-800 Wash Hood, which provides 360-degree coverage in 3D. It can detect any hostile target at the maximum range of 370 kilometers. When a target is deducted, the information is passed on to the tracking radar, 3P41 Volna. This radar is used for guiding the S-400 rockets to its target. If these radars are taken out, then Moskova will become blind and will be a sitting duck for any incoming missile. So how to make these radars blind? The most possible theory which has some evidence is the use of Bayraktar TB2 drone supplied by Turkey to Ukraine. These drones have numerous times escaped from the Russian radar and have taken out Russian military equipment. The attack begins with a P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft monitoring Moskova's movement. It's proposed that during the first phase of the attack, one of the Bayraktar drones would have flown closer to the battleship and would have hit Moskova's powerful search radar's M-800 washhole. This would have had Moskova's crew to focus on the drone attack. In the melee, the Ukrainians, with coordinates supplied by P-8 Poseidon, fired two Neptune anti-ship missiles from land. Traveling at subsonic speed, it must have raced itself to the cruiser. After traveling for a few minutes, the missile hits the ammunition depot of the ship, thereby causing a further explosion of other stored weapons, thereby severely damaging the ship. The dramatic movement when Moscow was hit was purportedly captured by a Turkish ship sent to help Moscow. The Neptune missile is indigenously made 870 kg subsonic anti-ship missile with a 550 kg warhead. So two of these missiles will have 300 kg warhead hitting Moskova. This could have been more than enough to sink the cruiser. 
This war is full of surprises. From scores of T-80 tanks getting smashed to a flagship carrier like Moskova getting sunk, it's a learning for all countries around the world. 